here we are in Cannes. It's our first day, actually, and uh, it's it's nice to meet you, sir. Yes, it's good meeting you. It's your first day, hey? Yeah, it's, it's our first day and actually half a day here. But, uh, welcome, welcome. It's my second day. Huh? Welcome. <laughs> Uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, I am Philip E. Walker. I am a professional actor. That's what I do as a living. Um, I have master's degrees in that and uh, I, I committed myself totally to it. So uh, it's a little appropriate that I am here in Cannes with, uh, with the film. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the question that we talked about before the interview was, uh, I think this, uh, sometimes we also fear, you know, joy and, and gratefulness and other emotions, but we also sometimes feel emotions that don't feel so good. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I may have the, you know, um, the first impulse to run away from, from sure. it. Like, you know, emotions that I'm talking are like, you know, anger, sadness and fear. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about that? What's mm -hmm. your opinion? As a child, I was the crybaby. I, even as a teenager, you know, I feel still today. I feel things very strongly. And when you feel things strongly, you can get very happy, but you could also get very sad. You can have the whole range of emotions when, when, you're, when you're involved, right? Um, and this was not a good thing, uh, growing up as a black guy in the ghetto of Chicago, to be a crybaby was not a good thing. The society didn't think of me well for that. But it has paid off being able to express and live all of those emotions has paid off in two ways extremely well one of them being the profession mm -hmm. yeah, you can't be a performer if you don't feel things deeply how could you express it deeply if you don't feel it deeply so even emotions like the film that I, that I'm in here uh, I have some really my character has some really depressing emotions but it's good for the film it really mm -hmm. makes the film come alive. So that's one, one thing that I discovered over time. It took time. It took decades for me to discover what I'm, what I'm saying. Uh, I discovered over time that it was a good thing that I was capable of expressing and feeling all of these emotions that are all human. This is yeah. just hu human beings. One, that has been good. But probably the best thing about it is it gives... It makes my life full. Aside from the profession and all those kinds of things, my life is full partly because I allow those emotions that a black guy from the south side of Chicago is not supposed to have, I allow those emotions to run through me and it makes my life fuller. In essence, to be able to be sad is to be able to live uh, happy life, <laughs> strangely yeah. enough. Because we need all of that. We need all of the extremes. We can't, we can't appreciate happiness if we never have sadness. So it is a bit of, uh, we have a chapter in our book of mm -hmm. the, the happy people. Okay. So there are this, uh, is, is an island where all the people are joyful and happy. Yes. But they have a secret. In the night, sometimes if they need it, they cry. Yeah, as long as they need, yeah, as they long as they sadness. need. So that's uh, yeah, yeah. I think it's... I understand exactly what that means. Yeah, yeah. From a, experientially, I understand it. Not just philosophically, mm -hmm. but as a life, I yeah. get that. Yeah, Me too. yeah, yeah. And Thanks. I and I hope you hope the young people that are listening get that too. It, 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 it's a lesson that if you apply it. The society at first will think you're crazy, but you will find that it'll be to your blessing. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. And you, it's great work you're doing. Thank you. And you too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah.